I have some in my collection. I have some Baltic amber uh, with insects inside. Uh, Baltic amber is about 44 million years old. I've got three pieces. I have a, a fly. If I measure it, it's like the actual insect is just over a millimeter in length, so it's very, very tiny. And I also have a bee, which is about three millimeters. Uh, it's kind of deeply embedded in the amber, but it's in good condition. And then also an ant, which is also about three millimeters long. Uh, now I have a f friend in Portland at Portland State University, Jessica, and she has a nice microscope in her uh, lab, and uh, so we're going to take some photographs of them with the microscope. It's got a digital camera on it. Now, the thing about the microscopes, if you uh, focus on some tiny little thing, you can only uh, focus on one little plane at a time. The depth of field is very small. But what's great about this microscope is that you can uh, focus on the top layer and take a photograph, and then focus on the next layer down and take a photograph, focus on the next, uh, focus on the next layer down, take a photograph, and then there's some software that combines it all together so that you can have an image where it really turns out well. So we're going to see how that works. And I've also got uh, an antlion larva. Uh, they're very fierce looking little creatures with huge jaws. These are the ones that dig a little pit in the sand, a little conical pit, and then the larva's at the bottom, and an ant comes along, falls into the pit, and these sort of come up out of the sand and grab them. So we'll see if we can get a photograph of that. And then I've also got sea spider. Uh, it's not actually a spider. Uh, they're called uh, pycnogotids. And they're just these weird little marine organisms. They're almost all legs, a tiny little body. And so we'll see if we can get a good image of that as well. And then one more thing I have is a, they call this a whale louse. It's not actually a louse. It's a, an isopod that lives on whales. This one came off of a, a gray whale. And they're just little parasites that live on the outside, sort of like fleas on a dog or a cat. So we're going to take all these specimens to uh, Portland and see if we can get some good uh, images of them. And um, then I'll see how that works out, and I'll show them to you. Here it says live. Yeah. You can see right there on the screen. So okay. you want to make sure it says live. But right now the camera is off on the microscope. So you just want to switch this knob. Right here it says viz. You want to switch it to dock. Okay. And now your camera oh, there we is go. on. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. And <laughs> uh, the, when you want to focus, you can do your initial focusing through here, but then you want to focus for the camera. So you want to focus um, by looking at the screen because the focus is not going to be the same. Through As it is through the eyepieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Wow, look at, oh my gosh. And that's just the bottom of this thing. Yeah. So. All right, let's get a subject under there. Yeah. Go back to file. Okay, those are downloads. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. wherever you happen to put them. Right. So mine are highlighted. And you highlighted the photos we just took of the ant. Mm -hmm. And okay. now I'm dragging them over into Rain Stacker into the input files. Okay. And there they are. And there they are. They're kind of stacked here. Okay. And then you just go to Stack, Align and Stack All PMAX. And then it just does it, and it's going to show your output over here. It's working. Okay. So it's going to combine all of those images mm -hmm. and bring all the different planes into focus. Yep. Yeah. And there you go. It's subtle, wow. but you can see. No, it really looks good. You can see. Very nice. Yep. Yeah. And then all you have to do is save output image. And it's going to save it as this weird name, but you can yeah. call it whatever you want. Can you rename it right now? Yeah. Just call it ant. All right. Because <laughs> there's only one ant, so. And I'll just put this on the desktop so I can, maybe, so I can find it easy. Yeah, okay. Okay. Sweet. And then you can adjust your quality or whatever. Um, this is probably fine, so, okay. Well, as big a file as possible, right? Yeah, it's pretty big. Okay. All right, and that's it. Sweet. And then you can close your
different projects. Okay, so how do we set up for the next one? So you got to take photos for the next one. Right. So we got to go back here to our virtual box, our Windows thing. Oops. Um, I don't need this. You need this. So we go back to our photo program. Acquire. Back to acquire. Okay. And then you got your thing under there. Do you that you want to photograph? Are adjusting the exposure on that. Yeah. Oh, I see you just got little sliding bars here. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's a little too bright. Come on. Okay. I think we've got a delay here. What's going on? Yeah. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. As far as the lighting. No, I yeah. Think and again, there's the going to be focus. more. I was trying to focus on just the top of the antenna, uh, you know, because uh -huh. that's the that's the earliest part that comes into focus. Okay. Looks like about there then. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Does that look good? Yeah. All right. Where? There's the first one. All right. So now I'm going to change it. This way is down. Yes. Okay. Right there. Okay. Yeah, I see the antenna's gone slightly out of focus. Mm -hmm. They're more focused right here. Yep. Like. Okay. This one's sort of standing up a lot, so I think more images are going to give us the best results. Yeah. It's not very in a, lying in a very flat plane. Okay. Okay. Next. Although it's it's not going to get this in focus just because of all of the amber in the way. I think. Although it looks, I can get it almost in focus in the. Uh, we're going the wrong way. Yeah, we're going the wrong way. Okay. All right. It's okay. It doesn't matter what yep. we Yep. Yep. Wait. So you're going down now. Away from you is down. Yeah. Towards you is up. Why is it not... Why am I getting nothing? Because there's too much material on this. Yeah. Here. Oh, it's the top, the top view of the ant. We had the under... Oh, okay, yeah. We just did one to try it and see yeah. how it would work. So we only have two images of uh, stupid switching between Mac and PC all the time. I don't remember if it's control or command. Yeah. <laughs> so you drag the two photos over. And then stack. Align and stack. And there you go. It's not a whole lot different because there's only two photos. So what is oh, you can still stacking. see it to be. So stacking takes all of the photos that we took that were at different focal lengths mm. and squishes mm -hmm. them together. So that everything's in focus? Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Mm, save. I have high hopes for this fly. I guess my experience of tree sap is that it's very rare that it's that sticky. The surface usually crusts over pretty quick. Yeah. Well, it, it, it maybe a different kind good. of tree sap. Look at that. Yeah, a different kind of tree sap than what we're used to just conifer tree you sap. You can see the Almatidia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I'm interested, too, about what I can do with the uh, photo adjustment once we've got that. I yeah. think. I mean, I, I do a whole lot of uh, photo stuff, and it's amazing what you can do. Wait, did, were there two flies? No, one was a bee. I think yeah. I called it a fly on accident. Oh. Okay, I'll just call this fly two, and then we know that fly is a bee, and I'll change that. Okay. better on there, but it's like perfectly round and it's uh, like yeah. a little egg and there's another and two thought, yeah, in this section. It could one. certainly be, yeah. Okay. It's funny, a small bug and it's still way too big <laughs> to do it with. Good though. We're gonna try something new. So 
a little bit of adjustment on each one. Got a little, yeah. yeah. They got a little, uh, even little dot of color on it. Color? Or something there, right there. Oh. Or yeah. maybe an indentation. It looks like know. an indentation. Yeah. Okay, so if you want, I can move it down. Yeah, and try even it. though the back legs will be cut well, off. Well, that's on the all right. Side. Just let's do the best we can and see how it works. Okay. So we're moving the whole microscope, which is pretty clever. <laughs> It's probably easier because the microscope has more mass, so it's easier to control yeah. than that tiny little thing. Okay. I'll just work backwards from this one. You could shift it that way a little bit. Oh. See, because this one's shorter than that one. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Okay. It's pretty out of focus, but... Well, that... Um, this part of it's just the artifact of how the thing works, I think. Oh. And once we get it all incorporated, it'll be... It looks more out of focus because this part's out of focus, but these parts... Yeah. And you see these little weird little curly cue things? See that? Mm -hmm. I don't know what those are. Okay, I'm gonna move it now. Some more focus. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the tail in here. Oh, I see. Oh, come on. So you're moving all the photographs to another system? Yes. Yeah. And then from that system, we're going to stack them. Okay. Okay. 